Today we're going to look at place value, looking specifically at hundreds, tens, and units, and what they look like in different forms. Let's start with a number. Let's start with the number 72. We can split this number into its tens and its units. The tens looks at how many tens go into the number and the units is how many ones are in there. In 72, there are seven tens and two ones. Seven tens is also known as the number 70. So we know that this seven represents the number 70. And two units or two ones is two. So we can think of 72 as 70 add two or seven tens and two units. We can use our base 10 blocks to show this visually. So we're going to count out seven tens. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven tens. If we count up in tens, that would be 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. So we have seven tens here, or 70. We also need two units, so we're going to count out two units. One, two. So here we have seven tens and two units, which is 72, or 70 blocks plus two units. This time, let's try a number in the hundreds. So we're going to go for 134. Last time we had two dig digits in our number, the seven and the two. This time we have three digits. So instead of just tens and units, this time we have hundreds, tens, and units. In 134, our one belongs in the hundreds column, our three belongs in the tens column, and our four belongs in the units column. So we have 100, three tens, and four units. 100 can also be written like this. Three tens is also known as 30, and four units is a four. So we can split 134 into 100, a 30, and a four. Visually, with our base 10 blocks, it would look like this. We would have one hundreds, three ten rods, and four unit squares. So we have one hundreds, three tens, and four units, also known as 100, 30, plus four. Altogether, 134. Have a go at splitting these numbers into their tens and units. I've done the first one for you, so 75 would be seven tens and five units, or 70 and five. To use the base 10 blocks, you can also go into coolmathforkids.com, this website here. You click on the tab that says manipulatives. Under there, you'll see the base 10 blocks, and you can use these to drag and drop and to create your numbers visually.